A for Shauna. S for Sonya. Ashana, today we're back in Covington, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. surrounded by beautiful hats. Yes, yes. At Buckaroo Hatters. I know. And you know what? This is such an interesting place with a great story. Why don't we listen to Mr. Moore? Let's go. You ready? I'm ready. Y'all, come on. Uh, my name is Mike Moore. I am the owner of Buckaroo Hatters over in Covington, Tennessee. Uh, we are open here on the square on Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. We're open on those days at 10 o'clock until 5 o'clock. A lot happens here. It's uh, customers come in literally from all. I've had customers in here from Japan, Germany, Norway, all over the United States. They come in to have a custom hat built. And when they walk in the door, 99% of them are blown away. They can't get over if it's a hat store or a Western museum or whatever. Because as you can see, all the artifacts and Old West and the big game animals that are hanging up in here. So they are blown away when they walk in the doors. The process is, uh, first off, I'll ask you a couple of questions. How you intend to wear the hat? Are you going to wear it as a, uh, as a working cowgirl or cowboy, meaning you're competing in events and so forth? Or is it a dress hat, for instance, like a minister may want a dress hat, which we call a fedora hat? Or is it something kind of in between? So once we kind of get that figured out, my next question is, is kind of what color that person may want that hat built in. But the main, main objective is, I want you wearing the hat, not the hat wearing you. Which means some people may think they want a big, super wide brim. And with their body build and their face shape, I'll be honest with them and say, hey, ma'am or sir, to me, that's way too much brim for you. We need to be this. And have those few customers that will give me the green light to make that smaller brim, those that don't usually come back in about two weeks and go, Mike, would you cut this brim down and reshape the brim? You want to have that hat looking in perspective to your face and your body structure. We then measure that person's head based upon the inches around that head. And I have some templates that the customer can put on that will tell me if they're a round over or a long over or whatever. So when I build the hat, I'll build it based upon that information. A custom built hat from a custom hat maker, and there's roughly about 250 of us in the United States, but we all buy the same raw hat body from the great state of Tennessee. They come from Winchester, Tennessee, so a hatter in Oklahoma or Texas is getting the same hat body I get. But to answer the difference in a custom hat, when you buy a hat from, from me, the custom hatter, we know that these hats are high pressure dyed in pressure cooker tanks. So when you get out in the rain, you're not gonna get this dye coming down your face, whether it's red or purple or black and so forth. Or we can have the brims at different widths, we can reshape the brim, we can reshape the crown. We want to give that hat that personality what you want to see yourself as. But that's one of the benefits you can design. For instance, if you want certain kind of hat bands on the hat, or if you want a certain kind of color, we can do a two-tone hat. We can do the crown one color and the brim another color. The Western Wear Supply Store, a generic hat store, they are at the mercy of what only that hat factory produces and sends to them where we can get very creative. We can do custom designs on a hat. We can do lacing on the brim, custom hat bands. The possibilities are just endless. But here is one thing that I wish everybody could go to Winchester, Tennessee and see the antique old machinery that is used to make the raw body that we hatters get to turn into a creation for you to go home with. The fur comes in bales that looks like bales of cotton. They clean it up and everything goes through multiple processes. Well, when it's in there, it gets back through there and they make it into something other. That it looks a lot like this right here. Every hat you see on this wall, after it got combed, looks a lot like this. From there, it goes through a bunch of other steps where they take it and they do some things to it. And when they get through, if they've dyed them, it'll look like this. Still, again, it doesn't look like that. This is what we get, it's called a raw body blank. And from there, we block that raw body blank and iron it and steam it and work it to make it into the hat that you wanted right there. For me to build a hat, it is an eight hour process. And there, whether it's my 
high-end 100X hat or my entry-level 20X hat, there's no shortcuts in that process of the blocking, the sanding, and all this goes into Volve. It's, it's a minimum of eight hours. Now, with that being said, that doesn't mean that a person can walk in the door today and eight hours later, he or she's got that hat. Right now is a good, good time. If anybody wanting to get a hat, is a good time to come in now to get that done. We have some hat bodies. There has been a shortage of hat bodies from Winchester. But as we get closer to the 1st of October, as we're going into that Christmas holiday season, it can back out as much as 12 to 16 to 20 weeks out because the demand just comes flooding in. And the secret is, if I have the color hat body, that you're wanting to build the hat. So right now, we're pretty much good. You come in the following weekend, we've got your hat finished for you. We build roughly what we call build consistently three grades of hats. 100X, which is a, a, a pure beaver hat there. That is a fantastic hat. Uh, that one will start at $600. The next hat that we build is a, a beaver blend. We call it a 50X. It's 50% beaver fur and 50% wild hair. And then my entry-level hat is what we call a 20X or a staple body. It's here again. It's 80% uh, wild hair and 20% beaver fur in it. And people ask me, how do these hats hold up in the rain? And my answer is, have you ever seen a beaver or a rabbit uh, run from the rainstorms to speak of? No. They can hold up. When you get a hat that's got uh, uh, built by a custom hat maker, one of us 250 that buy from Winchester, you can be assured when you wear this hat and it gets wet, uh, all you got to do is take it back in the house and let it dry on its own, and it will pretty much go back into its shape. We tell people, wear these hats, enjoy these hats. But the entry-level price, the 20X starts at 290 the 50X will start at 410, and again, as I said earlier, the Pure Beaver will start at 600. There are options, wider brims, bound edges, pencil curls, hat bands that can add into the matrix to get it on up there too. I've done them for movies and uh, major television shows. Uh, we were very fortunate that we were chosen to make all the hats in a movie about a famous country western singer called Hank Williams Sr. The movie was called I Saw the Light, and the costumer gave me full 100% control of what the hat was that, that Hank wore in that time frame, the late 40s through the early 50s. The museum in Montgomery for Hank Williams Sr., they were so impressed with the hat and the hat band that I had meticulously researched that was not being made anymore. So there is a hat of ours in the museum in Montgomery, Alabama, with one of Hank's music suits on that's on that. Then from that, we were able to do season two, three, and four on AMC, Turn Washington Spies. We have musicians currently out of Nashville. We have famous bluegrass bands that we make hats for. But And they always ask me, who is the famous person you've made a hat for? In every interview, I make the same statement, and I believe it's with all my heart, and I'll say it again to you. Everyone that comes through this door or emails me is famous to me. I don't care how wealthy you are or where you are on the pay grade. I want to make a good hat for you that you're proud to say Buffer Hatters made that hat for me. Well, Sonia, what do you think? Well, I think there's no better place to get custom mm -hmm. hats. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I think the story and the business here is just great. And isn't it wonderful that this is right in our back door, right across the county line in Tipton County? Yeah. Who would have known that there was a haberdashery yes, in West Tennessee? That's right. That's right. You know, it had such a wonderful story. And, and to know that these hats are shipped everywhere. And I mean everywhere. All over the world. That's it. All right. Used in movies and everything. That's so. it. That's it. Well, you I liking guess that one? I'm loving this one. It's kind of matching my dress today. I'm kind of partial to this one, too. Well, I think we need to get in front of a mirror and check us out. What do you think? Get I, the think hat. I think so. All right. Until next time. Until next time. Bye, y'all. Bye.